there are apostolic um, angels that are for the thousandfold blessing. There are angels that are responsible for the thousandfold blessing entering into your life. And those angels, they are also watchers divinely. They take note. They can see when you're engaging God's kingdom. They know the signal to minister for you on earth concerning the thousandfold. They know that you're a faithful steward because the father talks to angels about those that sow into him, those that praise him, those that obey him, those that overcome their own temptations to serve him. He's very vocal with them about your life. Your life is gossiped about. So when your life is brought before the Lord for judgment, and he's judging you based upon your honor. It is a good thing. You want the Lord to judge you when you're obedient to him, because that means promotion coming. You want the Lord to judge you when you're sowing. This is so amazing. You want God to judge your life, because when he judges your life, Saints Cornelius' life was underneath judgment. And not only was there underneath judgment, but now justice. God had decided I'm going to do an in-depth investigation on what I've been seeing from Cornelius. And now I'm going to judge him and I'm going to answer his petition. I'm going to answer his heart cry. Cornelius wanted the people around him saved. So that's where one of the areas where the Lord targeted. And then look, the Lord connected him to Peter. He got connected to his man of God through his sowing, through his honor. Now the father is pitting him where he's supposed to be. The seed positions you where you're supposed to be. The thousandfold blessing, it empowers you and anoints you to recognize your destiny on earth is to be a pleasurable experience to God in your giving, in your sowing, in your investment, in your sacrifice. It opens up your eyes that every moment that I have, it is created for me to receive the seed ministry of God. See, he ministers seed to the sower, but for him to minister that seed, there's locations that that seed is being ministered to you at. You got to be at the right place for the seed to get to you. The ministry of God's seed sowing into your life, handing the seed to you. He does it when you're in the right place at the right time. So you got to be led of, of the spirit. You got to be willing. You got to be in acceptance of what he wants you to do and how he wants you to be in a day. Saints, it's always important that you take care of your appearance. Your appearance is very important. Your appearance can determine the appearance of the thousandfold blessing. You have to look nice because the Lord is going to speak to people's heart for you. And you don't want to be somebody that's caught off because then a person can harden their heart. And it's not like God can't get nothing to you if they harden their heart. But you go through delays. That's all. You go through delays. And me and you both know that if something is delayed, during the time where it's delayed, things are hard. Things are difficult. Always be ready. When you're in expectation, it affects your appearance. When you're in expectation, it affects your bodily hygiene. When you're in expectation... Saints, do you know there was times when I was living in a hotel? I remember I would get dressed up. And I was expecting the father to show up that day. And then there came a day where the father actually showed up for real. And the father, he shows up through a person, a person that he sends to help you. And that's what happened. The father sent someone to help me, literally. So when you in expectation and the thousandfold blessing is flowing inside of you, you're going to be ready for miracle signs and wonders. Now, saints, this is a grace to move in the thousandfold blessing. And you got to be grace because when you get the thousandfold blessing, you can't be dishing this money every which way. 
And you can't be feeling bad for everybody's situation. You can't save the poor around the world. That's why the Lord was saying the poor you're going to have with you always. You can't be self-righteous with the thousandfold blessing. Remember that the thousandfold blessing, this is money and provision that the Lord going to put in your life because he's trusting that you're going to do his will with that money. He's trusting that when he speaks to you, you're going to follow the instruction. So don't take the thousandfold blessing and start investing it where you believe through your common sense and through your sensuality, it should be invested. And be wise. Everybody shouldn't know that you got the thousandfold blessing. That don't mean that you don't dress nice. That don't mean that you take, don't take care of yourself. But don't let people into your financial equation to know the exact digits of stuff that you have. Be careful who you share the information with. When you are given the thousandfold blessing, it shouldn't take away your prayers. You should be intentional about praying and you should pray more. The thousandfold blessing gives you more time. You have more time to do things. You're not apprehended by like slavery, like I need to do this or I'm going to get kicked out. No, because you got the thousandfold blessing. You can handle stuff. So you have more time which also means that you can have more temptations. If you're not growing, you are grieving the spirit. If you take a note, write that down. If you're not growing, you're grieving the spirit. And also, I want you to recognize this. The thousandfold blessing will require your mind to start taking the initiation to pursue God and God not pursue you. He not going to want to pursue you when he put in large money and large provision in your hands. You should be the one chasing him. So remember this. God should not have to reach for your attention, your attentiveness, your prayers, your praise. He shouldn't have to remind you of what he has done for you. you sometimes you got to walk around. Saints, I thank the Lord for random stuff. I thank the Lord for socks. Saints, I got on socks. I thank the Lord for socks. I thank the Lord for 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 watch. I thank the Lord for hair. I thank the Lord for eyes to see, ears to hear. I thank the Lord for discernment, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, strength. I thank the Lord for life. I thank the Lord for energy, blood cells working, white cells working, bones working, uh, enamel in my teeth working, gums working, everything working. I thank the Lord for everything. The Lord should not have to run after you when he give you the thousandfold blessing. You got to be on fire. And since I share the gospel with even young people, I tell young people, I don't care what age they is. I tell them Jesus loved them because young people like me. They see me, they look at me, they point at me, they think I'm cool. Still today, I was telling my, uh, I was telling someone when I was in school, when I was younger, I didn't follow other young boys. I set the trend myself. I was the trendsetter. I was the, I was the leader. I didn't follow people. When I saw them doing bad stuff, I didn't follow them. I was always the trendsetter. If, if I set the trend, I'm not looking to see what you do. I'm going to do something that's, that's unique in the Holy Ghost, and you're going to have to jump on. I ain't going to jump onto what you're doing. I know that the devil using you. I ain't going to hop onto what your, your flow and the devil using your flow. The thousandfold blessing is a flow. And God going to use that and use you as a trendsetter when you are in the thousandfold blessing. And let people see your light shining. And the thousandfold blessing, it makes you richer and wealthier because God want to draw people to him through you. They're going to like you and look at you. And you are the reputation of God. When you smell good, look good, then you preach Jesus to them. You let them know Jesus gave me these shoes. Jesus gave me this vehicle. Jesus gave me this house. Jesus gave me this car. Jesus gave me this clothes. 